The only reason why I'm uploading this video today because this little mister right here is Andre. Hello, <laughs> He's a bit shy for the camera now. He's not shy for the camera when he listens to a fish. So yeah, the only reason why I'm uploading this video is because he asked me and he's beating me today. I only caught one catch shark and he caught one cob. And this was a whole cob mission to catch a big cob and it failed. He succeeded with the cob. Not the biggest cob in the world, but he got one nonetheless. So let's get all the food. So guys, we, we just finished netting mullet. And the sun has just came out. Early sunrise this morning and my hands are freezing. I can't feel my feet, I can't feel my toes and I can't feel my hands. We only got a couple of small mallets. Boy, let's get this heater on. Let's get this heater on, warm up a bit. And then I'll catch you guys on the beach. Very, very chilly morning this morning. You, I can tell you guys that my hands were absolutely freezing. But anyway, we are at your spot. It's only Zandra and I, you can see him there at the back. And um, so, if there's any camera footage today that is not taken by me, it will be Zandra. But our little mission today is hunting cob, especially a big cob. Tide is a bit low at the moment. Um, we still have a dropping tide, there's about two hours to go before the low. Um, the formation is not quite so lacquer to fish on the low, but I see to my left hand side there is a bit of, little bit of a drop off or a lip. Maybe I'll lob a big bait just over that, that um, lip for a big cob. As the tide turns and it starts to push, this bank will fill up and it will look really nice for, for a cob, especially a big cob. Um, that's what I'm after. Um, I just want to fish for a big cob, but at this stage, um, Titus is a little bit too low still and um, looking at the bank here it, it's rolling really nice at the back it's not dumping real hard so there might be a fish on it so I'm gonna take out my light gear um, throw a clean little chocker bait on the bank see if I can't get a, a smaller copy up to like a 5 or a 10 kilo fish and then maybe if we're lucky we'll get a white steel on us as well but cob is the main focus today Especially a big cop. Zandra wants to catch a big cop as well. There's Zandra. And I can even wait to camera up here. So I love you, Vince. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna get a bait in.
bike in the morning. A little chocker bike. You guys will see, um, it's not the same as my normal dingle dangle bait. I just want a long, thin profile bait, especially if there's a steeny. You guys will see that the hook is very, very, very proud. And that chocker bait is, is really soft, so circle hook will still do its job. Pour a couple of steenies like that for the boards, got us some coke. Let's see if we can do it today. Uh, first rod is in and um, I'm gonna fix Andre's rod for him. I start to sail along these ocean waves. Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us. It's turning out to be a perfect day. I just wanna leave our normal lives behind us. So let's get lost out here. No one else out here. Find ourselves out here. Oh. up on my my tackle here I went to do as normal I went from normal 7-0 or 6-0 that you'll fish for a comp I went up to a 9-0 now I want to build a, like a big solid bait let's see if we can't get a big comp the tide has just turned and um, that's the time that you want the big bait out for the cob. It's just as the tide turns. That start of the push. Especially in the spot where I'm now. Is I'm going to throw it just behind the shore break. And um, look for that cob waiting to come onto the bank. So with like 2-3 hours to go into the push. They start going onto the banks. But those bigger cob, they tend to stay behind the drop-offs and um, it's certainly catch them there so uh, like i said the, the, the main focus of the day is, is, is cob but specifically a big cob i really want a big cob like a 30, 30 plus kilo fish and um, i've neglected big cob recently i've been so focused on on non-edibles, big non-edibles over the past few years that I haven't really targeted big cob as much as I used to. Got plenty of, well not plenty, but a good number of decent sized cob in my previous years or my younger years when I wasn't as focused on on non-eds because the non-edible fishing is, is quite addictive and um, yeah, it's really got hold of me, but I absolutely love cod fishing. It's just cod to me is, is I don't know something something special about a cod. And um, if you speak with anyone in South Africa, most of the guys if you ask them what they want to catch is they want to catch a big cod. So there's just a special place for a big cod in, in all of our anglers' hearts. So. We'll be lucky to catch a decent sized cob today. Catching a hundred pounder would be ideal. 
we go. Not the prettiest of looking bait, but it just needs to be big and bulky. It'll smell like a hockey leg. And that cop will come and find it. Let's hope we can find the cop. I think I might have thrown it a little bit too far because it's, it's quite difficult judging the distance when you're standing in the water there and um, yeah you're quite level with the with the swell when you're fishing for sharks you can just throw and um, the sharks the further over the better but the top you need to be very close to that lip but um, I reckon we're okay I reckon we're okay Let's wait and see. I'm just gonna pick my rod and um, yeah, set the drag and then wait. I can next see me. Through this live bait out, small mullet, live mullet, about 15 minutes ago. And there's a little inquiry. Um, I was busy putting out my other rod and I just saw this one bouncing, so but I'm not convinced that it is a cob. I think this fish is on. Andre's rod was in the sand spike and we had to make a run for it. Um, we just saw all of a sudden that his rod went flat and um, yeah, it seems like it's onto a small cob here, not too big, but um, it's a cob nonetheless. And um, it's been a really tough day. I've only caught that one little shy shark and, um, and um, we've really been battling to get bites. So. He's just stoked that he's on finally and that um, he can catch a fish. So, this is what it's all about. The lighty having fun, eh? No after the the cover yeah we are so be stuck
Look at Bailon. Look at Bailon. Asai. Mooi booty. Je hebt een kabeljauw gekregen. Ik ga het Tel hem op. Dit was het. Aan de onder. Zonder duiken. Zonder duiken. Volgens mij. Alexander is very chuffed with himself. We had a long day and we worked hard for this car. <laughs> Finally, close to the end. Alexander managed the lekker little cobby. Hij moet daar kijk voor. Lekker voor deze blij. Kijk maar. Dat is zij. Oké, okay, lekker. Time for een quick release. Voor deze kobi. En dan, ja. Kijk eens zo. Wat smaal je zo. Kijk maar. Ik ben er blij. Ik ben er blij. Here we guys, while I'm packing up, this is Andre is pulling around, playing in the sand. So he's chuffed, he got a cop, so he's happy. So yeah, it was just a lucky day out with my son. I owed him a day of fishing. It's been a while since it was just me and him that went fishing and spent the day together. Um, yeah, so he just really enjoyed it. He loves his fishing and loves the outdoors, loves the nature, loves the oceans. So he's just like me, um, in that way. Okay. But yeah, we'll be back. It was supposed to be a lacquer cob mission. I thought we were going to get some decent sized cob or some better cob. But it was just too much side wash in the water and just too much of a draw. It wasn't ideal. Um, it, they predicted like a 1.5 meter swell. The swell is more like a 2.2, 2.4 meters, which is not ideal. So, yeah, we all make a another cop mission for a big cop. I'm on really on the hunt for a big cop. See, there's some terrible weather on the way, so we might even do a little Halloween video. But yeah, my big focus is going to be on on edibles this winter time, and then as the summer get closer and we'll, we'll start to take out the big guns again and then push for the, for the shot. Good job guys, it was lekker fun with Zandra out today. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see some more content from me and Zandra and all of my fishing buddies here at Zulu Fishing, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload. So I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.